Okay, the score distribution shown in the table is for all students who took a yearly AP statistics exam, complete parts A through C. And so um, what you want to do is go ahead and first get this data into your Excel. So I'm going to copy it to the table. So I'm going to pull open an Excel window and just um, copy it in there. And then um, and I'll delete this. This is from earlier work, but I'm just going to delete that. Okay, um, now you need to convert this percent of students to a probability of students. So I would go ahead and <clears throat> divide that. Take this number equals, oh shoot, let me do that. So in this cell, take um, what you have in D3 and divide it by 100 to make it a probability. And you're going to want to um, fill that down. And then um, I'll just change that so it all fits. Sorry. OK, and then here um, you're going to want to do the score, which is x, times the probability, which is uh, what you have in that score, what you have right there um, in E. So you're going to do equals C3 times uh, E3. And you're going to want to fill that down. And so then the mean, of course, is just going to be equal to the sum of those um, different probabilities. So we'll just say equals the sum of these numbers, because we're just really dealing with a probability model like we did in the last unit. So if you know that to get your standard deviation, you're going to need to find your deviations first. And, and we'll want to square those. So we'll do, uh, let, me, let me do x minus mu, and I'm going to square that. Okay, so how are we going to do that? That's equals the x, which is the score, minus the mean score, which is right here. We want that one to be um, a lot or an absolute reference, and then we're going to square that. And then we'll come down and fill this down. And then we need to multiply that by the probability. So you're going to do equals um, this times the probability of it occurring, which is this one, and then hit enter, and then you fill that down. So you've done this all before. And then so then your standard deviation is equal to the uh, square root of this, this sum right here, right? Because the sum is the variance. And so then you would just take the square root of it to get standard deviation. So 1.33 and 2.841. Eight four one, and what was the other number? One point three three zero. Okay, now it says if we select a random sample of forty AP students, would you expect their scores to follow a normal model? Well, it's actually you. Can, they all seem about the same, except for this number five is. Um, 12.4 so we would say no and it would be it would be it would resemble the population which is kind of uniform the number of one four one through four and then about half of those that number got five so we would pick d here okay and then um, we can continue and now it says consider the mean scores of random samples of 40 students describe the sampling model um, it's going to be normal and it's going to have a mean the same as the sample mean but it's going to have a standard deviation equal to um, that standard deviation divided by the square root of 40 so equals this divided by the square root of 40 I'm going to run out of time but it's going to be 0 0.21 uh, for the standard deviation but the mean is going to be the same so you're going to it's going to be normal right here, um, and we will...